And for me, it's always been about the rocket. In fact, so much so that when I was growing up, the school called in my parents to, uh, to the, to the uh, to, yeah, bit of a discussion because they believed that um, my aspirations were unrealistic for what I wanted to do. In the time of aerospace innovation, the name Peter Beck shines as a beacon of ingenuity and determination. Born on November 7th, 1977, in the quiet city of Invercargill, New Zealand, Beck's journey from a young enthusiast to the visionary founder and CEO of Rocket Lab embodies the essence of a modern day explorer. His indomitable spirit, coupled with a profound understanding of rocketry and space science, has redefined the way humanity approaches space exploration. I've always been interested in, in space and, and rockets for as long as I can remember. Um, space, space first, and then engineering has always been a passion as well. And if you mix space and engineering, you kind of naturally you know, get to a rocket. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the logical point. Peter Beek's fascination with the cosmos ignited at an early age as he gazed upon the star-studded New Zealand skies. Growing up in Invercargill, he developed an insatiable curiosity for the mysteries that lay beyond our planet. His thirst for knowledge led him to delve into an extensive range of books on rocketry, astronomy and space exploration, becoming the crucible in which his passion was forged. In 1995, Beck became an apprentice precision engineer at Fisher & Paykel. While working there, he taught himself and used the company workshop to experiment with rockets and propellants. Using these tools and materials, he created a rocket bike, rocket attached scooter, and a jetpack. He later worked at Industrial Research Limited, working on smart material composites and superconductors. Beck was laying the foundation for the pioneering work that would later come to define his career. So um, I started Rocket Lab and uh, with the vision of, of what I wanted to do and uh, put together a business case and business plan and all the rest of it. And then there was a guy on the radio by the name of Mark Rocket and he had bought a ticket on Virgin Galactic's um, space tourist venture vehicle and uh, he had renamed himself Rocket. So I thought, well, here's a guy who's clearly passionate about rockets. So I contacted Mark and shared the vision and I was just extremely lucky that, that uh, he shared the vision as well and uh, he was prepared to put his money where his mouth is as, a, as an angel investor and that's, that's what got us going. The year 2006 witnessed the birth of a groundbreaking enterprise that would send shockwaves through the aerospace industry. Founded by Peter Beck, this private aerospace company was established with a singular mission to democratise access to space. Beck's vision was clear, to render space exploration accessible, cost effective and frequent, especially for the small satellite market. One of the most striking aspects of Peter Beck's visionary leadership was his commitment to innovation. At the core of Rocket Lab's arsenal was the Electron Rocket, a pioneering launch vehicle designed to redefine the standards of cost effectiveness and versatility. This lightweight yet powerful rocket built with a carbon composite structure and leveraging advanced manufacturing techniques represented a quantum leap in conventional rocket design. The Electron not only delivered payloads to space but also delivered a message that smaller agile teams with innovative ideas could compete in an industry traditionally dominated by behemoths. Now today we, we, we hear about very large rockets, you know, taking humans to, or aspiring to take humans to the moon and Mars and beyond, and that's, that's really important. But there's a revolution going on in the space industry, and it's not a revolution of the big, it's a revolution of the small. In May 2017, Rocket Lab's Electron rocket achieved orbit for the first time. This historic milestone was a testament to Beck's technical prowess and unwavering commitment. The Electron Rocket's triumphant orbit entry was akin to a clarion call for a new era in space exploration, showing that exorbitant cost was not a requirement. Rocket Lab's Electron Rocket soon emerged as a symbol of rapid launch cadence, a feat made possible by the company's streamlined approach to launch operations. 
Having a launch site on New Zealand's Mahia Peninsula amplified the company's launch frequency and drove down launch costs. Peter Beck's vision of affordability and accessibility in space was becoming a reality. What we've tried to create here is not just a satellite, not just a launch vehicle. We've tried to create a full end-to-end -end solution where customers can just come to us with their idea or their innovation and we can get them on orbit in a really affordable time frame and a really affordable cost. Peter Beck's unquenchable thirst for innovation continued to bear fruit. He spearheaded the development of the Photon Satellite Platform, a versatile satellite bus that allowed customers to concentrate on their payloads while Rocket Lab handled all the satellite's design, construction and launch. This approach, undoubtedly formed thinking, streamlined the satellite development process, making it accessible to a more extensive array of users. But there's some things we said we would never do. But we're going to build a big rocket. It's called Neutron, and behind me is just the fairing. This is a purpose-built mega constellation building machine for all the mega constellations of today and of tomorrow. Rocket Lab's Neutron rocket is an eagerly anticipated addition to the company's impressive lineup of launch vehicles. Announced in March 2021, Neutron is poised to become a game changer in the small satellite launch market. At approximately 40 metres tall, Neutron is designed to carry payloads of up to 8,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit. One of Neutron's standout features is its reusability. Rocket Lab aims to have the first stage of the rocket land back at the launch site to reduce launch costs and increase launch frequency. This commitment to sustainability aligns with the industry's growing focus on reducing space debris and the environmental impact. As we gaze towards the horizon of space exploration, Peter Beck's legacy is set to play a pivotal role. His vision of democratising access to space and harnessing its potential for the betterment of humanity stands as a bold and inspiring frontier in aerospace. With visionaries like Peter Beck at the helm, the future of space promises to be an era of unprecedented exploration and discovery.